Good evening, everybody. Let's serve up some volleyball. Atumwa was hosting Indianola. Atumwa in the near court. Nice rally here. Hope Bittner keeps it alive, but the visitors would still get the point. Nice save by the Bulldogs, Megan Black. And eventually, the Bulldogs were earned the point, but it didn't happen enough. Indianola was leading it when we left. In other games, Crooksville lost to Chillicothe 13-25 and 17-25. Moton Udell lost to Iowa Christian Academy 2 to 1. Centerville beat Sheridan 2 to 1. And it was Mount Pleasant 3. Washington nothing. In college volleyball, Truman State travels to Missouri Western tomorrow night. The Bulldogs will be home Friday and Saturday. Friday is Dig Pink Night. Show up and help fight breast cancer. So far in 2013, the Bulldogs are getting the job done because everybody is involved. It's our middle blockers. Allie Patterson had a heck of a week last week. The week before that, Emily Walters put up big numbers. Abby Heiss has put up a lot of big numbers. And Allie Brack just keeps churning out um, kills on the outside. So we've really got a lot of weapons. In high school golf, it's Kirksville battle and Moberly doing battle at the beautiful Kirksville Country Club. Check out the shot of Kirksville's Emily Van Ree on the first toll. The ball would stay on the green van ree would be the medalist on the afternoon she shot a 42 nice effort right there teammate serena barry just misses she carded a 46 kinsey kelly and nikki snyder shot 52s morgan summers had a 53 and morgan baker shot a 57 over at la plata putnam county was six shots better then Macon 223 to 229 individually. Macon's Cassie Martin was the medalist, edging out Sydney O'Reilly of Putnam County. In swimming, a tumble was looking to make a splash against Indianola. It's a tumble was Ellen Carlson on the last leg of the 200 medley as the Bulldogs would finish third. Next up, it's the 200 free. A tumble was Savannah Adams makes the hard turn look easy. Well, teammate Sophie Goodman was second. Adams finished fourth. We don't have a final from that meet. In softball, Kirksville beat the Highbrows from Halias, 8-6. to six. It was Brashear, 16. Marion County, 6. And Schuyler County beat Novinger, 11-1. In baseball playoff action, the Pirates lead the Reds, 6-2, late in the ninth inning. Pirates are going to win it, so that means on Thursday, the NLDS starts in St. Louis at 6 o'clock at Bush Stadium. The same two teams will meet Friday afternoon. In high school football Friday, Perennial Power Mile will host upstart Scotland County. The key for both teams will be keep your hands on the football. Both teams want to run and play downhill. They control the line of scrimmage. They run the ball well, play good defense. They're fast, and you know we got to do the little things right in order to win. I see a, uh, a game that's going to be one defensively. Who can play the better defense? Probably. I mean, both teams have pretty decent offenses, and uh, we've been scoring some points. They've been scoring some points. Macon will host Louisiana Friday. The Macon defense will have to stop the visitors' speed, but the Tiger D has had. Really a great run. They gave up 36 points against Palmyra in their opener, but they've only given up 44 points in their last four games. We've got some guys healthy, first of all, which, which certainly helped. But, uh, you know, Coach Sonheim, our defensive coordinator, works very hard at that. And our guys have really bought into his system and are doing their 111th, if you will. And, and our defense is improving every week. The Indian Hills basketball team will play in a jamboree starting tomorrow in Dallas. Preseason is the hardest time of the season, you know, getting ready and uh, preparations is key. And coaches is uh, beating that in our heads right now and uh, all the guys should be ready and we're just waiting for Dallas. And